Hey guys, it's Britt, and uh, I did a poll on Twitter yesterday, and I said, do you want me to do a video on why I don't like associating myself with fandoms, even even my beloved Game of Thrones? Uh, and, I mean, the, the poll hasn't officially ended, but so far every single vote has said yes, and so I am happy to oblige. Okay, so... Even with Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire, and, and for those of you who are unfamiliar, um, Game of Thrones is the HBO television show, and The Song of Ice and Fire is the, the book series written by George. Um, the two are very different things, um, so I tend to classify them as different um, stories, because that's, that's what they are. Um, anyway. I just really have never felt comfortable saying I'm in in fandoms um, just because of all the stuff that tends to go on in fandoms and this the, if if you guys like being in fandoms that's fine and I like a lot of people in the things that I'm a fan of, like Game of Thrones, like I love Dan, I love Grey, I love Kyle. Um, I I would never, you know, think badly of them because they, I at least I presume that they associate themselves with within the fandom since they make videos, and I I make videos with Game of Thrones as well, but um, I I just fandoms are a place where things can go awry very quickly, um, especially with Game of Thrones, because the Game of Thrones fandom is a very, a very passionate bunch, and in ways that's, that's commendable, because they, they love, and the, I'm not saying that, you know, fandoms are bad, but, um, especially in the Game of Thrones fandom, um, people tend to make a mockery of very serious subject matters, like rape and violence and mutilation, and I'm just, I, I'm not, I'm not okay with that. I'm not down with that. Um, I've had, I, I mean, I've, I've probably talked this subject to death, and you pro guys are probably like, stop beating this dead horse. But I mean, I've, I've, I've been in an abusive relationship, and it's it's not fun. And I take things very, 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 very seriously. And I know Game of Thrones and A Song of Ice and Fire. They're just they're fiction, but a lot of real world things happen, and people tend to to say, well, it's just a show, or it's just a book. Yes, they're right. It is just a show, and it is just a book. But these things are based on real-world events, and real things that actually happen, and they should be treated as such. Um, there, there's basically a reason I almost exclusively comment on Dan's channel, and that's because, and Dan is talking thrones, um, there's a reason I almost exclusively go on his channel. Uh, for the most part, everybody has been very, very welcoming. Um, I've, I've had some disagreements with people, and I've had uh, slight drama with people there, but I mean, it, it's hasn't been enough to deter me from going into the comments section because Dan is a very, very, very lovely guy and he moderates his comment section as best as best as one man can with the uh, the level, the number of subscribers that he has. Um, he's, he's, he's been a very, very nice person.
person to interact with. And um, his comment section is nice compared to a lot of other people's. And that's no shade to everybody else that makes Game of Thrones videos. Um, uh, if, if I don't comment on other people's videos, please don't, um, don't feel like I'm not appreciating your content because I do. I'm just a very nervous, anxious person. And, and Dan, like, like, I know Dan. I've, I feel comfortable around Dan. And it's, he just makes it a really pleasant experience for me. And pleasant experiences. Um, they just, I don't know, maybe it's because I've, I've, I consider Dan, like, my friend, like, we, we talk all the time, he always, you know, comments back, and I don't know, like, he's one of the channels that always makes me feel really, really welcome, and the comment section has more or less made me feel welcome as well. I, I know I've had I know I've had my spats with people on there, but man, sometimes it's hard to be a Greyjoy. Um, especially a Theon fan. Though I, I have found I have found more Theon fans in that comment section. So that makes me happy. And but anyway, um I just don't like locking myself in with a group of people. Um, and that's why I don't like associating myself with fandoms. I consider myself a fan of Game of Thrones. But I don't consider myself in the, the fandom just because of, you know. Maybe, maybe it's just me and I'm... I don't know, but I just, I think fandom is a a silly buzzword. <laughs> you can be a fan of anything. Um, you don't have to, you know, obsess or, like, you can be a casual watcher or a reader and you can like that thing. And I don't think just because you read or watch that thing, you should feel like it's necessary to associate yourself uh, within the fandom. Like, I make Game of Thrones videos, uh, but like I said, I, I don't always feel uh, welcome in fandoms, and I, I try to avoid the drama in that those fandoms. Um, so... Yeah, that's, that's about it. I just... Do you guys like associating yourselves with fandoms? Or is this just, like, strictly a Brit thing? Because, I don't know. Also, uh, slightly off topic, I saved this for the end of the video, but um, for all of you guys who have been on my channel with me since the very beginning, this background probably looks really familiar to you. And that's because it's my bedroom. Um, usually, I film in the television room next to my bedroom, but um, I wanted to change it up a little bit, and so I thought I'd come back here. Also, my family got really annoyed with the piles and piles and piles and piles of books that got scattered in there, and so I started cleaning my room up this weekend, which was why I hadn't filmed for the the uh, the past few days. Uh, but yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think. Am I just a weirdo, or do you guys kind of agree that locking yourself into a thing just because you like something is kind of toxic? Um, I th that that that's basically why I think I feel like fandoms no matter what, uh, a fandom is going to be very toxic. And I just, I try to avoid 
as much toxic things as I can, um, including booktube. Um, I feel like sometimes booktube can be a very toxic community. Um, and in a very aggressive and a very bullying community. Um, but for all of the bad things, there, there are good things and pros that certainly outweigh the cons. Like, I've made so many friends on here. I, I, I'm so happy. I have Julian. I have Jordan. I have Devin. Devin and I talk every day, as do Becky and I. Um, I have Julian is great. Um, who else? Just everybody has been so kind. Uh, whether they're in the Game of Thrones fandom and comment on my videos, or they they like what I read, or they have the same interests that I do. I just I love hearing from everybody, and despite you know the drama that comes with all this YouTube stuff. It, it sounds cliche, but I can't imagine my life without you guys now. But anyway, I've rambled on long enough. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.